this is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me, Mr. Cash Ali, heavyweight, is back in the ring this Friday night. So I thought I'd grab a quick word uh, with yourself, fighting for the vacant IBF European title. Cash, this can put you back in the in the big time. Uh, yes, definitely. It's a big fight, big title, and it put, like I said, it put me back in the mix, which I can't wait. You know, training's gone good. I'm really looking forward to it on Friday night. Yeah, Friday night in Sheffield, obviously on Dennis Hobson's show. Cash, uh, I'm sure uh, you've uh, worked really hard in the time out that you've been out the ring, etc., and and felt like you've put in improvements. What differences are we going to see in Cash Alley on Friday night? Yes, most definite. Like I said, I boxed I think in December last. And but even before that, I've been training hard with my trainer Richard Towers, who he'd be, be pushing me in the gym. And uh, I, I, yeah, I just can't wait. Now, like I said, I've, I've always had the talent, and I believe now I've got the mental side of things and the physical side, and it's all coming together now. And I just can't wait to perform on Friday night, especially with what I, what I can do, um, and not just go in there and knock people out. I've, I've done that in the past. I, I know I can punch, but I want to go in there and put a nice boxing performance on where I can. Well, I'm showing I can jab, I can move, look good, look slick, what, what a lot of heavyweights can't do. So when I go in there, I put a good performance on the Friday night. Is that what we can expect as fans then? A bit of a, a clinic, a bit of a masterclass from Cash Ali on Friday? Yes, definitely. I think a bit of everything. Like I said, the kid I'm fighting, he's a, he seems to be a big puncher. And he, I think he's just one way coming forward and wants to have a fight. But like I said, I think we'll see a bit of it, a flashes of everything. Boxing, when I need to fight, I'll fight. When I need to box, I'll box. So I think the fans in for a good, good night. Or whoever tunes in and whoever's, whoever's bought the tickets over here, it's going to be good. Have you seen him in the hotel yet? Yeah, we're in the bubble now. Yeah, just had some, uh, we're in the, we're just, just had some lunch now. So you know, we're all just together. Just, just everyone, all the fires, all the promoters and everyone sat together. So just one of them ones. But uh, this is what it is, isn't it? We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna spend some time together on Friday night in the ring. You definitely will. Uh, just having a quick cloud. Uh, kind of glance at him now, etc. What did you make of his his frame, his physique? Did you gauge anything from it? Yeah, he's a big. I see a lot of heavyweights are big, but he's a big, 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 lump, big, my big man. Good muscles on him, but the muscles don't mean anything to me. You know, well, he, he, he probably, he, like I said, he's in good shape, so he's, he looks like he's in, he's in grafted. But uh, for me, I, I've, I've been training hard. I've done my good sparring. I think last time we spoke, I was up in London sparring with uh, Derek Chisora. So I've had some good, good sparring and. After that, I've sparred, I did some with Joseph Parker as well. So I'm looking forward to all the sparring, what I've done, the work, what I've done, and just put it all together this Friday. And it'll be the start of some, like I said, it'll put me back in the mix and then we can get some big, big fights uh, in the future. Definitely. Do you feel like he's going to come in on Friday night? And as you said, he, he carries power, but he's going to kind of look for that one big shot to take you out with where maybe you can capitalise on that and use your strengths and, and kind of frustrate him outbox him and then hopefully stop him late in your opinion Cash yes most definitely he's got like I said, he's, he's big he looks strong he looks quite fit but like I say, if he's going to come out swinging like I said I'm going to make him miss I'll make him pay hit and I'll get hit obviously he's going to get hit sometimes but like I said I, I believe my boxing will be more superior to him hmm. it was anyway not taking nothing away from him but I just believe that I'm the, I'm the better man and if it all goes to plan for yourself this Friday night winning this vacant European title, where does that kind of lead you on to? From what, from what I know, it put, it'll put me in the rankings with the IBF. So, like I said, we, after that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting past it. I'm just I'm focusing on this. I believe my uh, team, Dennis and Steve, all them, they can, they can uh, plan the next fight. So, they know where we're going to go and I'll leave that to them. But whoever comes out, I'll be ready. I'm, I'm, I'm more than confident. Like I said, I've shared a ring with a lot of, lot of heavyweight prospects. A lot of the heavyweight champions actually, the current Fury, Joshua. So I believe I have got the skills and obviously the powers there anyway. But I do believe I've, I'm a I'm a serious individual who's going to cause cause some problems in the heavyweight division. Yeah, well, you're always in good company, as you said. You've sparred the best of yeah. the, the world in terms of, in terms of Tyson and Anthony, and obviously you've just been sparring Derek and Joseph Parker as well. So, Cash, uh, you, you're never uh, short of good work. Yes, you know, that's it. That's what it's about. I believe. You need that work anyway. Like I said, I, I didn't have that amateur pedigree or amateur background. So even now, I'm still learning. So the more time I can spend with these top guys who had loads of fights, who are champions, I can, I can, I can learn off them. Like I said, you've got to put yourself in an uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation and you've got to overcome that. I, I, I see a lot of fighters sometimes 
they don't want to come out of the bedroom, not bedroom, but out of the comfort zone. I'm happy to stay and spar local guys. You got to travel sometimes. About eight, nineteen fights. This will be my twentieth, but I'm still traveling up and down the country, Birmingham, London, wherever I can get good sparring. I'm there because it's 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 a uh, it's invaluable experience and it's something that I feel like a lot of other fighters. Young, if any young fighters are coming through, that's what I believe. If you're not at that amateur experience, you've got to go around sparring with the best. And it's not it's not going to be nice. Boxing is not a nice sport, is it? It's, it's not nice getting hit in the face, but we chose to do it, so it's the best way to learn, I believe. And Kasia, you alluded to uh, Tyson and Anthony's names there. Um, last time we spoke, I was asking you for a prediction about their fight, but I won't won't need to anymore. What have you made of the collapse and uh, inevitably Fury fighting Wilder and looks like Joshua fight Usyk? What have you made of that? Yes, yeah, uh, like I said, it was, it was probably part of the contract. They probably didn't. They probably overlooked it a bit. A bit. They probably thought they beat Wilder, and they probably thought he, didn't, he never wanted a third fight. But if it was in the contracts, they're gonna have to do it. But I feel like people are underestimating. Deontay for this, he's, he's a big, big puncher. You can't write him off. He's gonna, he's so. I think we're gonna favor Tyson. Obviously, he's beaten twice, well, once before, drawn with him before, and we are do, do favor him. But I'm sure Deontay's working on things where he needs to work on and he's gonna try to better himself and try to get the knockout this time. And even Joshua with the Usyk fight, that's another hard fight. <laughs> you know, they're not easy fights, these so potentially got two banana skin fights, and you might not see the Fury Joshua. You still know, dear, but uh, either way, I think they're all good fights. The super fight was obviously Fury and Joshua, but I think with Joshua Usyk still a brilliant fight, and then even the Deontay and Tyson, and not everyone wants to see it, but I'm sure when it's on, they're all going to tune in anyway. So either way, I think the fans are in for a good, good uh, night. Yeah, I think you summed that up well. Well, listen, Cash, I won't keep you too long. Um, tune in this Friday night, Dennis Hobson show. Cash Addy's back in the ring, and uh, best of luck. Uh, on Friday night, and I'm sure we'll catch a word after the fight. All right, top man, Gash. Sure, thanks for having me on, and I'll see you hopefully after the fight. Nice one. Cheers, bye. All the best.